Du, 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 du. What's up, guys? Just setting up some things. Looking for that live that live button. Um, I don't actually see. I don't see the live stream on YouTube, so I'm uh, getting a little concerned here. That's all. Oh, there it is. All right. Make sure and turn that off. Don't want to hear that. There we go. All right. So today, uh, real quick, I just wanted to use this uh, page from one of my student, my comic book students, as an example to show how to create more tension on your comic book page, and how to make your page more dynamic. Uh, feel free to ask any questions you might have in the chat. Uh, try to answer them as as quickly as I can. Um, but uh, I just wanted to quickly take this opportunity uh, to share this stuff out, okay? Um, all right, so let me switch this view so you guys can see this a little bit better. Actually, uh, this one right here would probably be uh, ideal. All right, so this is a page from one of my students, and one of the things that this page has going for it is it's clear, it's easy to understand that there is uh, a school uh, in the first panel, and in the second panel, uh, a character is being tripped, and then in the third panel, there's someone on the ground. But it's not really uh, very dynamic, and it doesn't really show much of uh, the kind of, you know, uh, comic book dynamics that you'd want to see. So we want to try to uh, make that a little bit uh, clearer. And then we also want to uh, add a little bit of tension, uh, which we're going to do by adding another panel. Um, I'm making a post on Facebook to share this real quick, so bear with me. Um, there we go. All right. There we go. Good to go. All right, so back to what we we're saying. So anyway, uh, what we want to do here is is try to create more uh, more tension. So as you can see uh, in this shot, um, this particular panel feels a little bit stiff. Uh, it's well drawn. There's nice perspective, um, but it it really doesn't show a lot uh, of movement. The character that's being tripped looks very stiff and probably could easily step out of that situation. So it doesn't really feel like uh, it's something that's engaging. It's not very interesting to look at. So that's where we're going to begin. The first thing I want to do is come in here and create a more dynamic uh, panel. So that would be what this one was about here. So as you can see, I put in a one point perspective and move the camera down low to the ground. So what this does is, first of all, the one point perspective, uh, oops, let me make this uh, above here. There we go. And we'll get a nice green going here so we can see it really nicely. There we go. So by using a one point perspective in this scene, it makes the 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 uh, perspective, focus all of our attention right to the character that's uh, tripping in the middle. So this immediately makes it feel uh, more dynamic already, rather than before where we had the uh, the flow kind of going off, off the page a little bit. Really wasn't guiding our eye to the focus point, okay? 
So that's thing number one. Uh, number two is I put the camera down really low and aimed it up, which puts us in the moment. We're right there with them. Uh, whereas this panel here that was originally drawn, this is something you'd see like in a, a, a video game where you're playing third person mode. And, you know, sometimes we'll call it God mode where you're looking down from above and it separates you. It makes you not part of the scene. So uh, by putting the camera down low in this scene, we are now part of it. We're more engaged. Uh, and so that makes it more visually interesting as well. Also, by having this character really have some force perspective and coming right at us, this is your, your more comic book feel. Uh, so it tends to feel more dynamic, right? So that's, that's problem number one, just trying to take that first panel and make it more visually interesting uh, and more dynamic. But that's not all we want to do. One of the things that you'll notice about this page is how we go from this establishing shot, which is a nicely done establishing shot, but then we jump right into this scene. So there's nothing to build tension in between. It's just you're here and all of a sudden, bam. Um, so as an audience, we really don't have any connection to this moment. We're, we're not really engaged yet before the action just all of a sudden starts happening. Um, so um, the thing to do here would be to add a panel into this scene, uh, giving us that extra beat. And if you've read Scott McCloud's book, Understanding Comics, you'll get uh, how they talk about time and how you can slow or speed up time by adding more panels. So that's what we're gonna do here. Um, so now I'm gonna go up here and show this panel here. So now I have taken this same frame and moved it down just a little bit uh, and taken the establishing shot and moved it up a little bit. And now by adding this panel in the middle, uh, I'm creating a moment of tension because now instead of just jumping in uh, right away and seeing this character out of nowhere, we now see this character here uh, who's kind of eyeballing uh, the kid who's walking in. And we can see that he's up to something on his face. Uh, we can see that he's going to do something uh, devious. So this creates the tension already. We're like, well, what's he up to? We start asking questions. Uh, what's he going to do? And then we have the shot below it that has the dynamic action. So this is the equivalent of uh, pulling the rubber band a little bit back first before snapping it. Uh, whereas this is just kind of lightly pulling it back. There's really not a lot of snap there. Um, so that's what we mean by adding tension to the scene. Um, so this head is breaking the panel of, uh, and it's breaking the panel for the express purpose uh, of guiding us into this panel. But notice the layout allows us to direct our eye over here based on the way he's looking and look right at that character. Uh, then we come down here. And then the last thing I did is I pushed this uh, down so that we kind of cropped in to this lower shot that was drawn. Uh, the original was. Uh, nicely drawn, had nice perspective, but we don't really need to see all of these upper parts of the, the tables. So I went ahead and, and got rid of those and just cropped it into the actual parts that we need. Um, so now you have the new uh, layout. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think this is more dynamic, has more tension? Leave your uh, comments below. I do teach comics at the Pikes Peak Community College in Colorado. If you're interested in taking a course, look at pikespcc.edu. And um, I do have a comic that I am making myself uh, called Mythica, which just launched on Kickstarter uh, yesterday. Uh, you can check it out um, at uh, the, let's see, I'll, I'll put the link in the comments uh, section below. But if you just go to Kickstarter and look up Mythica Comic, uh, you'll definitely find it. But I'd love for you to check it out. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you uh, learned something today. And uh, if 
if you'd like to hear something else about making comics, please leave your comments below and I'll try to uh, leave something about it. Thank you so much.